seja amor como não vê-se amanhã, aquela morte quando bate, perde o medo da morte. Simbora! Alright, I wasn't going to make this video today, but my tortoise Swiss video got taken down uh, due to copyright, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how I find my KOM, like, climbs to get KOMs on. Uh, so I'm in Thailand at the moment, not in London, so we'll just search for the old Chiang Mai. And there are quite a lot of climbs around here. There are the main popular ones, like Doi Satap, Doi Kham. Those are the main ones around, like, Simong, things like that, and Mon Cham. But I like to go for the bit weirder ones, uh, just because they're easier. Alright, so anyway, the first thing I do... I like to climb, so I do at least a fourth cat minimum. There are some segments that are like shorter than that and still a climb, uh, but generally I find that. So this is the main one, Doisa Tap. You can just see like 72,000 effort attempts. Um, it's going to be tough to get that one um, without getting some good, some good stuff. Again, Doi Calm, I'm only 10 seconds off, but again, I, it was going to be hard for me to get one. So the one I chose last time was this, which is uh, Wat Ban Pong. Uh, four, four minutes 41, got that KOM pretty easy. Uh, so I just saw that and saw, like, look, there's only 1,300 attempts. An attempt is, like, so I could do five attempts and that would count instead of not... So it's not just, like, people. It's actually the number of times people have climbed it. So this is the one that I checked out today. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, sorry, but it's 1.8K, 6%. So that's that's the one I'm going to go for. And um, a good tip is, like, if you find you beat someone... So I beat this guy's KOM on E here, Wat Ban Pong, and I see there's another KOM here. It's like, I'm going to be able to get it both. So that's another good tip. Anyway, we'll keep going around and see some other ones. This looks all right. Uh, we'll have a quick check out on these. Um, and then these ones are actually like 2% gradients there. I could get them, but they're just a bit more of an effort. And then there's this one again. Haven't really tried. Um, and I think we also have, have some other climbs around, um, which are interesting. Uh, where are they? There's like Doi Git, um, which is good climb. But anyway, we'll just go on to this one quickly and figure out if it's one that I think I can get. So it's 1.4 kilometers, 6%. We've only got 550 people, so I'd probably say straight away, yeah. We've got some power data, so unless these guys are 50 kilos, I'm going to be able to beat them because I can know I can do more than 400 watts for four minutes. Um, so this is Ob Khan, I believe. Um, so we'll go on this little segment 6% gradient. 22k an hour, so decent, uh, and hopefully he has his weight, so if they don't have that weight, it can be a bit harder to calculate, uh, but I'm guessing he does have his weight in here, 5.3 watts per kilo for 4 minutes, so that's, like, I can do that for 20 minutes, half an hour now, so that's, that's a chilled segment, so then straight away, I know this segment is doable, uh, so I just need to go out and ride it, and so, like, it depends what you want to do, if you, you can just pre-ride the climb, but normally I'm just too lazy, so I just check out on Strava what it's like, uh, so the Wat Ban Pong, just checked it out on Strava, it was like, oh, it's going to be steep at the end, a uh, bit of downhill, so just, and then that was it. So this is the beginning of it. You can see we're going to be going uphill, looks pretty nice. Um, not really any, like, I don't really know how to describe how this starts, but I guess it starts, I just also just want to check which way it's going, because um, it can be, it can be weird sometimes if, uh, it's not like particularly steep either way, so I'm not sure which way it's going, but I believe it's probably going up this way here, um, up the climb, I can see a little climb there. So I guess I'd just say it starts where this mound is, probably the tree here, so I'd probably just say as soon as it starts to open up, set the Garmin around, set the Wahoo lap around here, uh, more or less. I generally try and be a bit more conservative, just start the lap here and that's what I'll begin my effort. Uh, and now we'll go to the end and see what is in between. So it's pretty useful, this Strava thing. It tells you exactly where the climb ends and starts. So this is the end of the climb at the very top. So again, not great. I'd say this, you'd be coming up here, so there's a little path on the right, but you basically, I just guess, just want to go to the very top here, so just go all the way up. Uh, and now I'm just gonna, just gonna go scroll down and see what the climb looks like. So not, not mega steep, looks relatively consistent maybe a bit of flat slash downhill there uh, pretty narrow road like there's not much happening to be honest there's nothing um, that I can see here that makes me feel worried so it's, I mean, it says it goes up to 20% maybe there'll be a little bit of a ramp there but it's pretty smooth gradient doesn't look like there'll be any downhills um, so I'm just gonna pace that try and basically hold 430 for 420 430 for four minutes so that's a pretty pretty easy one to get. Then you ch chuck it on the starred list. 
and um, I'll probably go out and get that next week or something, and hopefully I'll come back with a good result. Uh, we've also just got some other ways, of, other ones to look at that I can find. So these ones on the flat, if it's like that, that's not really a climb. I don't really do those because um, often they have real dodge GPS. Um, so yeah, those are my top tips. Really, you just got to think length of climb. Well, number one, will you get the KOM or top 10, like depends what your goal is. For me, on these smaller ones, I just want to get a KOM. So I just look and figure out which ones I can get a KOM on. Uh, so this one is also interesting. This will be a little bit harder. And I've ridden this before, 4.63K. And again, this guy's power data, 353 watts. He weighs a bit more than me. I think it said it's 5.3 watts per kilo. So again, that should be chill. Uh, should be able to get that one pretty easy as well, as long as I can hold my six watts per kilo for, I normally do six watts per kilo for around 10 minutes or so. So should be good. Yeah, 5.4 watts per kilo. So it'll be a bit tough. I'll try and have to hold maybe 340 to get this one, um, which will be good. I, I'm not sure if you draft it because this climb you can see here is up and down, up and down. So if it's like this and it's a bit longer, you might want to pre-ride it. But on these short ones, you don't need to pre-ride it. You can just turn up and just bang it out like this. Um, so it's pretty good, pretty good climb. Uh, and there you go. There are my top tips. So number one, check if you can get the KOM or top 10. Number two, like, well, no, actually, sorry. <laughs> Read it. Number one, check, figure out what segment you want. If you're like a big guy on the flat, you might just want to get your team time trial out and just get some flat segments. If you're a climber, then figure out what sort of length of climb you like. Or here, I just pick any climb. Uh, number two, figure out if you can get the KOM or top 10. Look at the power data, look at the speeds and gradient and figure out roughly what needs to be done. Uh, number three, figure out where it starts and ends. And number four, figure out if there's any pacing strategy, if there's downhills, if there's uphills, if there's bits where you should push harder or not as hard. And number five, just go out and absolutely smash it and hope you get it. So cheers for watching. Hope this helps you if you're trying to get any KOMs. Uh, and I'll see you in the next vid.